So some of you have been asking about the tower. How's that going? Uh, let me show you. Flip the camera over. The way over there is the tank and the foundation. It's ready to rock and roll. We got the tent up there too. See my ducks wandering around. Um, as soon as the tower gets welded together, I hope in the next week or so, we'll get that up and get the tank on the top of it. That ought to be a real circus there, getting the tank on top. But I think we can do it. And uh, we're, we're going to do it, let's say that. So, anyhow. Samuel ate up all the cookies. There's the monkey hey. wanting the cookies. So, ciao from Chile, and God bless. Thank you for coming by our channel. Ciao from Chile. Also, I forgot to mention that the wood here is true full dimension wood. That's because they cut their own. They don't ship it in. They don't run down to the Lowe's or whatever. You can do that. They don't have Lowe's here, but in either case, so I went to go buy two by fours and they didn't have them. They did have two by fives and that's what this is. And they were the same price. Bless my, bless my little heart. Um, so two by five, fives it is for our walls, studs. Um, also, some people had asked about code and what about the code and um, let me explain. We don't have any code. That international thing, uh, ICAO or, or that, that code that the U.S. follows that is supposed to be an international code, that, that was a scam they ran on you guys. They don't follow that code here. Even in the cities, they, they have a code, but they don't follow that code. So if you think that I need to follow code, um, I think you need to get out of the United States because I don't have a code to follow. I just have my conscience, which is pretty, pretty informed, pretty, pretty well founded. I just have my conscience to tell me and the quality engineering and I get good advice on that for things I can't handle. So uh, we don't need no stinking code here. So anyway, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, end of a good day of work here. Mostly demolition, but um, putting our foundations back in, so to speak, our sub foundation, joists, whatever, sills. Putting our sills back in so they look good. Here I'll show you what we did. And that is a two by eight down there. It goes from the main beam, parallels the sill all the way to the other main beam into the into the ground. And then we got another one over here, another two by eight. Um, we're gonna put a a block on the front of that that'll hold our joists, our two by six joists. They'll go all the way across. Probably have to splice them there in the middle. Oh. Not a big deal. Um, then we go back in with our some blocking in between it. Good bit of blocking. And uh, um, after we get the blocking back in, then we're we're going to go uh, put our subfloor back down, which will be the OSB that we took up. Still good. No sense wasting. Wasting. I never waste anything here in Chile. They always um, use it till it doesn't need to be used anymore. Can't be used anymore. All right. Kind of tired. Uh, it's about well, it's about four or five o'clock now. So uh, no, it's about four o'clock. Yeah. So that was a lot of time just taking stuff out and trying to have to engineer what's going back in. Do it right. That, those beams right there, the green ones, are piggin, I think is what they are. And they're really, really hard. They were smoking the saw. They were so hard. Very difficult to get a nail in it. Really thinking about drilling out, put, putting bolts into those so that they are there forever, so to speak. Probably do that. Anyhow, um, we'll show you more probably on Monday. We do church on Sunday. Sunday is God's day. Where are we? Chiviuco. Chow from Chile Expat Family.